All right, so in this video, I'll attempt to go through uh, how to set up Universal Fighting Engine in Unity um, and use Photon support for networking games. Um, so starting out, I'll set up the project using Unity 2021.3.1. You know what? I, you know what? Actually, I'll change it to 2021.2.1 for now, and then. Here I've actually set up a set up the project name. It's just basically UFE and then just a version number. And I'll go ahead and start the create the project. By the way, I'm using just a standard um, uh, standard um, definition, so just a 3D core. That's good enough. As uh, as the editor is setting things up, uh, I'm, I'll go ahead and set up a create a new app on Photon. So essentially, just log in and then using um, uh, just just to kind of the main uh, main area go in and, and just create an app so I'll do that right now so essentially I set up uh, two separate apps here uh, one is um, for chat and another one is just for the you know using photon so for the first one I use for when I created it I use a photon type to pun p-u-n name is just whatever you want to pick and same thing with uh, description and the second one I just created uh, it's not required, but I just did it anyways, which is for um, um, uh, chat and uh, for the photon photon type. I use a chat for this one and just, you know, you pick any name you like and the same thing with the description. Um, you'll definitely need the ID for app ID to set it up. So here um, I have the project open. The first thing I'll do is uh, go into package manager and when that comes up, um, I can change this so just go in and uh, select my assets and you type in UFE I'm going to go ahead and import that and let's see it'll take a little bit it, you'll get a warning um, just go ahead and do import it doesn't matter since it's a new project now I'm, I'm going to skip the package manager one for now All right, so here you go, and we just do import. Now, if you get this uh, scripting updating consent, just go ahead and select the first option here. And I think that happens a couple, couple different times. So the next package we need is uh, Photon, and um, I'll go. I'll go ahead and use. Uh, I just uh, plugged in or typed in PUN. So I'll, I'll go with the classic, same thing, you know, you, if you don't have it downloaded, go ahead and download it. My, mine is already done, so I'll just go ahead and do import. And I'll just pause here, so there it is. Uh, let's go ahead and import it. You, you'll, you'll probably get a, another uh, updating consent, so go ahead and select the first option. So once it's done, uh, all you have to do is uh, plug in your app ID. So in this case, I'll use that uh, app I created uh, UFE uh, so I'll plug that in here in a second and all you have to do is just type it in and then uh, click on set a project so here you go everything's set up and I'll go ahead and close it so at this point we have photon uh, classic set installed uh, I have the UFE standard version 2 uh, dot four dot one. So next thing you have to do is go into third party support and based on what networking you want to set up, you can go through this and you can install that, um, add on. So in this case, what I've done is I've installed the classic version of photon. So all you have to do is select this fo photon API connector, double click it. You should get this import unity package and just go ahead and do the import. Now at this time, if it's done correctly, hopefully you're not gonna see any errors here, so I'll clear it out so I don't see anything here at all. I'll just go ahead and click play. This is an old sample scene. I just wanted to check it. So now um, all you have to do is go into U UFE folder, go to 2D Fighter uh, demo, and this is where you can open it up. Now obviously things are not actually set up uh, because there, there's still certain things we have to do. Um, so for that, what we need to do is uh, 
update the config and for that what you have to do is go up to Windows UFE and then uh, global editor select that and it just opened up on my other screen I'll go ahead and launch it or dock it here and then this is uh, the file the that I need to modify I'll just make a backup of it for now and um, just select um, a config fighter 2d this is for the demo come down and come over to network options and this is where you have to enable a few things and then all you have to do is do photon um, change the service to cloud because that's what we have it set up now I've seen uh, some people or on some documentation uh, they've used this option they have enabled or disabled blending in uh, the second option and then for the package I've seen uh, them change it to 32 bits and I think everything stays the same what I've done previously is I've checked this option too uh, which I think helped with the the way things were sort of uh, syncing but I mean that's something you could give it a try and, and test it out so we have that set up now this isn't enough by itself uh, there's certain things we have to do which is here this is a GUI option that's where we have to update certain things so if you come here so again it within the global settings you go to GUI option uh, I'll do it again I went through it a little fast uh, and then click on screens and what you have to do is update some of these missing um, missing values and I think the only thing that's missing is well random match is missing and then so this is the one um, so here let's alright so this is where we have everything so okay so the first option where it says missing uh, random match GUI so we have to select I believe network random match screen if it's the correct one you'll be able to fill it in uh, and then the second one is random match and this is a search one so I believe this is it's I, I was selecting random match screen but it's actually search match screen and that does work uh, if you try this one it's not gonna work so really the, the actual screen for that is search match screen and there it is it should automatically save everything and let's see what else we have I think that's about it um, so I'll go ahead and hit play this is not gonna work but it'll, it'll, it'll actually make sense here in a second and then for a uh, good thing I have um, audio muted so if you go online now and then do random match it should just show disconnect connection loss there you go so this is something we have to update so I believe it's the connection lost screen that needs to be updated so I will go back okay so the the fix is actually pretty easy that's not the screen but it's actually this one random match screen so go up here uh, go back to your global settings and then uh, where you see random match uh, where we select a search match screen click on open and when that comes up the first thing you'll see is right here it says LAN that's why I was showing disconnect so that has to change to online and I believe from here we can just go up, up top scroll up and just say apply all so that should change uh, the setting to multiplayer mode and I'll go back here to the global editor close it and let's see if that actually works all right so go to online do a random match hopefully it's not going to disconnect so that's good it's showing a searching match now so the thing is I don't have another uh, client and there's a quick and easy way to do that and I can show that how to do that so I'll actually stop it and then basically there there is a tool that you can use so you don't have to compile the the app every time or compile your project so just go into your asset do show and explorer 
and then from here go to packages manifest and I'm going to open it in notepad plus plus okay so what I could do is use this tool called parallel sync copy and paste it there um, this is actually what you have to use I'll put that in the description so that's really it also oh, use add it and then do save I'll get move this out you can close it actually so when you go back it's gonna install that package by so by having this parallel sync you don't have to compile two separate you know you don't have to compile it and then test it basically you can open up uh, like a clone project that's read only and then you can run them both side by side so so it looks like it went through go into clones manager and it's gonna come up like this I'll go ahead and dock it here at the bottom and then do create new clone it's gonna take a little bit I'll pause all right, looks like it's done here so all I have to do is uh, it created a clone project so I'll go ahead and uh, open it and essentially it's gonna just open two same projects side by side this one is the main one and it'll continue to be the main one and that's where I'll, I'll make all the changes and the other one would serve as a second client so I could test it out so it'll take a little bit here um, and as soon as it, op it opens up I'll, I'll put it side by side okay so here's the second one it opened up um, so the one that's the clone it'll say actually clone and then it'll tell you which clone it is and you can make as many clones as you like um, and then on this one I think everything is pretty much the same already opened up the demo project or, or demo scene um, so here's my main one I'll go ahead and hit play on this one and hopefully this is going to work um, so on both sides we have that open up so I'll go up to the first one hit online click on random match same thing here I'll go to the second one do random match and you know I'll move this out of the way and hopefully this is gonna connect it's searching for match okay so that actually that was taking too long and I think I know why so all you have to do is go up to photon Networking, go to resources, select your photon server setting, go into inspector, and that's where the issue was. I didn't have the correct setting there. And also, it does kind of give you an, uh, it complains about the chat ID. So I did create that uh, extra app just, just for that. I don't think you need it, but I'll go ahead and plug that in. So I'll put in the chat ID as well. So a couple things we have to do here. So where it says photon cloud, you have to say best region. And then everything's that's fine and then for protocol you have to change it to TCP so that's where the issue was um, I believe that should take care of it so as soon as I make this change if I go back to the the clone and click anywhere it should update it auto automatically so let me do that and I'll play and see what happened okay so I'll move over the other screen here Well, technically I don't really need to but so I'll go ahead and hit play here take the clone do the same thing here and uh, so we both of them are running so I'll go to the first one click online do random match click on the second one online random match and hopefully this is going to work um, okay so it did work so I'll choose player one that's player one Kyle go to pl player two I don't know I'll use Elaine or is Ellen and I think here uh, the stage has to be selected by player one whoever was the first one to get in and there we go and then you can change those settings that we talked about in the in the networking so hopefully this was helpful and uh, any questions let me know